Hey, what's going on everyone? Thanks for coming back. Uh, welcome to my channel. My name is John. Um, in this channel, I like to talk about finances, real estate, investments, um, things like that. That's uh, one of my biggest passions is uh, having conversations with my friends and family uh, about, those, about those topics. And um, I always like to get everyone's perspectives and see what other people are doing in order to save or invest money or plan for their future or you know, whether they're looking to buy a house or what stocks they're buying or, or how they're saving their money, um, how they're budgeting their money, how they're tracking their expenses and things that they purchase. It's a conversation that I really enjoy having with different people because I get different perspectives. And that's the purpose of this YouTube channel is I want to have those perspectives and those conversations with those of you that are out there watching this today. Today's topic, I want to talk specifically about allocating money um, to a separate bank account or a different savings account uh, to save. So that, uh, so instead of having all of your money, you know, your, your direct deposit every month go to just your primary checking account, instead of doing that, set up a way where a portion of your income goes to a separate bank account, um, not your primary. Like for example, let's say you have um, Navy Federal Credit Union, USAA, uh, Chase Bank, let's say you have one of those accounts uh, and your W-2 income goes directly to that account. Now, your W-2, your employer will probably have um, somewhere uh, an option online uh, where you can uh, make adjustments or you can talk to your employer, make adjustments to where um, a portion of your income instead, you, you can set up so that instead of having 100% of your income go to your primary checking account, a portion of it go to a second account. So instead of it going directly to that account, as soon as the money is being sent to you, it'll go from one to your checking account, your primary checking, and then to this other external account that you have that's separate from your primary bank. And by having it allocated like that, having it set up so it goes to two different places, it adds another level, uh, another barrier for you in order to have access to that money. It's not as easy to have access to it. Like you can't just transfer it from your savings account to your checking account um, within your primary bank account. You know, it's over here in this in this other bank, um, which, you know, that other bank that you're investing in, hopefully it's a bank, you should always invest that type of savings into a high interest savings account. Um, that'd be the best, best thing to do is invest in a high interest savings account, something that pays much higher than your regular um, your regular banks or your regular credit unions uh, something that I use is called SOFI um, I forget what the acronym stands for but it's SOFI and right now it actually pays uh, a 4% annual um, an APR an annual percentage rate of 4% so whatever I have in my um, SOFI account at the end of the month I'll get paid uh, 4% of that of that value every month so every month I'm getting paid every 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 month every year I'm getting paid a 4% um, APR on whatever my total cash savings account is and in that account I'm saving more money every single month because I have my setup exactly the way I explained um, I have 10% of my income 10 and a half percent of my income uh, goes into that other bank account which is not associated with my primary account so it just adds an extra layer, an extra area or barrier uh, for you. You don't ha easily have access to it. Usually, in order to get access to it, it takes two to three business days, five business days to transfer from the external account into your, tri your primary checking account. Now, there are options where you can apply for like a debit card um, with, that, with that bank so you can have easy access to it, but I don't suggest doing that. Just keep it over there. And if you really need it, um, if you really need that money, you know, plan for it. Prepare. Know that you've got this, hey, I've got this big expense coming up. I have this money saved over here. Um, that's, that's purpose for saving this money is for emergencies like this. And, you know, you'll usually, in emergencies like that, you usually have a few, biz, a few days to where you can wait in order to pay for it. Uh, so that's my suggestion. Create a separate external bank account where you automatically allocate money to so that you can save. Now me personally, I never, um, I never really tried doing that. I never, I never thought of it as being a, um, 
I never thought of myself as being able to save money. I always thought I didn't make enough money in order to save anything. And that was, that was just obviously never true. We all make <clears throat> something that we can, we can save some cash. <clears throat> I used to be the type of person who didn't think I made enough money to ever save anything. Um, I, ne I thought I just never made enough. And that was definitely never true. The, actually, the issue was I was spending more money on ridiculous things, things I didn't need or things I didn't need to be doing, instead of just saving a couple hundred bucks a month into a separate account. Now, all of us can afford to save 5 or 10% of our W-2 income into a completely separate account and just live off of live off of uh, the remainder of, of, our, of our income. So anyways guys, that's my take, that's my reason for why I think it's important to allocate money to a separate account and keep it there so you can work on saving and growing for a, a large investment or for an emergency fund. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you'll come back and watch another video. Uh, please like, please leave a comment. Talk to you soon.